Hello, hello, hello again. I am Janar. I am with you with another video series. Guys, in this video series, I'll be talking about the perks in Emirates. Yeah, as a pilot, what kind of benefits do you get? I get lots of questions about these things. I decided to answer each of them. I want to make these videos as a tool for you. In each video, you will be hearing different things from me about the benefits. Don't forget, those are valid for 2023. All right, guys, let's don't waste time. Let's continue. Today's topic is Emirates accommodations. Guys, if you're offered a villa with some exceptions, you will get two different accommodations. The first one is Maiden Heights. The second one is Maiden South. Today, I'm gonna talk about the boat so you can have a rough idea of each of them. So you can compare these two and then you can decide which one is gonna suit you well because most of the time company is really great you can tell them where you want to live. That's a great opportunity and they're really, really, really helpful when it comes to that. For instance, when I joined Emirates, I said I want to live in Maiden Heights. If I didn't tell this, most probably they will end up putting me in Maiden South. But when, since I requested, they gave it to me. They're really helpful if you ask for it, if there's availability for that, they will be doing it. Of course, there are some other small accommodations as well that Emirates paves for it, but this is really extremely rare and I don't have much information about that, but I can assure you that 90-95% of the time when you join the company, you will be offered either of them. And also before starting, you could watch from my previous video as well. Sometimes in rare occasions, this, when these accommodations are full, you are offered to get accommodation allowances. In that case, you cannot use these facilities, right? You should go and rent your own place. This is not the topic today. Today we are gonna talk as if you get offered a villa and you need to choose which one you need to go. I will talk first about Maiden Heights because that's the place I lived. And also I will be talking about Maiden South later on. There are pros and cons of each accommodation, I'll be covering them. Guys, Maiden Heights is closer to the downtown. If you're an outdoor person, let's, let me put that way, you will be saving each time 10 to 15 minutes because Maiden South is far behind. It will cost you extra 10 to 15 minutes each time when you go out. Maiden Heights is more central, Maiden South is far. These houses are huge guys, either of them. They are four bedroom villas and they have extra maid rooms. There are showers and toilets in each room and also gardens are included. Maiden Heights smaller, but don't think that is small, it's still huge. I lived there a year and that was really, really, really huge for me. It was headache. You need to make hard, hard, hard work to maintain the house clean in either of them. All right, Maiden Heights, what benefits you get? I'm telling from my perspective. Maiden Heights is closer to the city center and the, they have the car do garage door, which is great. You can literally close your door to protect your car because the sun is the really, really, really enemy of your car because it's really, really strong sun there. And also Maiden Heights is smaller than the Maiden South. It's not the primary uh, location when it comes to Emirates accommodations. For instance, it has the same size of pool and gym as Maiden South has. But the thing is, since there are literally fewer people there, you can get more benefit when it comes to using these facilities. I personally, for instance, like the pool better in Maiden Heights because it's huge pool compared to community and it's all the time empty. So this kind of small things makes life a little bit, you know, easier. I would say that when it comes to making sports, 
Maiden Heights offers better solutions. It has tennis court, for instance, as far as I know, there is no tennis court in Maiden South. And also, if you have pad, it's easy for you because everything is so close, compact. You don't need to walk long distances because literally Maiden South is a huge neighborhood. But Maiden Heights, since it's compact, you can get the benefits for that. And also one other thing, if you are in Maiden Heights, it's really, really, rare to share your company provided uh, chauffeur drive because it's really rare to have someone who's gonna go to fly exactly more or less the same time but in Maiden South that since there are lots of lots of lots of pilots it's always normal to get some pilot to go at the same time because it's a huge accommodation thousands of pilots are living there that's also another thing you you don't share. Sharing is nothing, you know, when you share a car, it is nothing. But the thing is, you wait, you go there, you lose 5, 10, 20, 15 minutes. Sometimes you, know, you go and wait another 10 minutes. It's faster in Maiden Heights than Maiden South. I live there. That fit me very well. And then thereafter, I bought my own place. Then I moved to a bedroom apartment because villas are big for me. And even Maiden South was bigger. Also, I didn't want to live far from city center. That being said, that was the reason why I chose Maiden Heights. Okay, but they also made on high some negative sides as well. Uh, it's not all the time the best thing. For instance, there is no cleaning in Maiden Heights. There used to be laundry where you can send your uniform and they clean for free and return you back there. So literally you could walk. But right now they closed it. What you can do, you have to go either Maiden South or HQ to get your you know, laundries to be clean. And you could use this laundry for your personal stuff as well. Of course, they would charge you, but it is very, very little money. That was really cheap and great for me, but I'm Unfortunately, they closed it because it's not the main accommodation and now you don't have any other option. And also, if you're a family, most of the schools are far away from there. You have to pay for transportation for the schools. But if you are living in Maiden South, it's a totally different story. I'll be covering this in Maiden South part. And also, uh, it's not like such a huge neighborhood. The houses are small and privacy is from my side is not as good as Maiden South because the houses are back to back. They are townhouses and literally everything is back to back each other. When you go to your garden or other part of the house, they could see you what you are doing in the garden and you feel like, you know, uh, there is no privacy. And also the walls are so high and your sunlight is really, really degraded and the garden is relatively small. So I didn't like to be, to be honest, the garden side, but it is the very big house because I never used the garden efficiently and I didn't care about the privacy because I was out most of the time, but the houses are back to back. Let's talk about Maiden South now. Maiden South is a huge, huge, huge accommodation and they're expanding a lot. I literally get lost in Maiden South all the time. It's main Emirates accommodation. It offers you really, really, really great flexibility when it comes to having your normal life. Uh, for instance, Maiden South, there's a clinic and then you can walk to clinic when you have some health problems. That's great because your family lives there. It's really walking distance away. And there's a laundry there where you can use your, for your personal needs. And also you can have your uniform sent there, cleaned and returned back to you without any charge. And also no need to mention about the schools. There is one nice school next to Maiden South Kent College most of the people send their kids there. In order to compete with Kent College, other schools are offering free transportation for those who live in Maiden South. That's also great. If you live in Maiden Heights, you're not gonna get offered for this because there's no competition there. I had a friend, he literally moved to Maiden South just to get free transportation. It's 10,000 dirham a year. It's a huge money. So he said from this money, he said, I'm living in a bigger house. Now I get my kids, you know, transportation for free. This is also other thing. And also they're constructing new school next to the facility. So there will be two options. Those are available only 
to Maiden South residence. This is a great opportunity. And the houses, they're really great, huge. So for instance, when you compare to kitchen, Maiden South kitchen is very, 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 very big and large. And also from my personal experience, what I've seen from my friends' wives, they love Maiden South better when it comes to house because they're huge. And you have garden from three sides and the privacy is better. And then that being said, don't forget, you should be dealing with the cleaning all the time, but most of the people, they have made uh, for that uh, because it's, when you're a pilot, it's, you, it's very affordable to have a mate. This is the benefits of living in Medan South. I can say that it's a great for families. And from my personal view, if I had a family with two, three kids, I would be considering to living in Medan South. Don't get me wrong. There are lots of families living in Maiden Heights as well. It, when it comes to that, you need to make your own uh, decision because everyone's situation is totally different. I must say that the Maiden Heights facilities are better than when it comes to sport, of course, better than Maiden South because they have Maiden South has relatively small pool because it's a huge area. And Maiden South uh, is really good when it comes to have your kids to socialize because there are lots of families, there are lots of kids in Maiden South compared to Maiden Heights because the population is overall population is high. So for them to socialize, I think it can be better because as you know, it's very multicultural environment. Your kids are getting interaction with each kind of nationality. So when it's great to grow your kids such a multinational environment. Let's make a recap. From my point of view, Maiden Heights is way better if you are very outdoor person going out all the time, you don't stay at home, so you don't care if the house is bigger or not. You, your ultimate aim is to get close to the uh, city center. In return, you get, you know, you're okay not to have clinic. If you go to clinic a couple of times a year, if it is not that important for you, or if you are okay to have your laundry in the HQ, in that case, that's okay. It's not a big deal. That was me. I wanted to stay in Maiden Heights, but if you are family oriented, if you are spending a lot of time in the house with your family, in that case, Maiden South can be a great option for you where you can find the schools, clinic and other stuff around the you know community so, so you could decide you could be spending extra 10-15 minutes in the traffic uh, compared to Maiden Heights but if you go out a couple of times a week it shouldn't be any big deal and also right now they're expanding the Alain Road and in that case there will be less and less traffic in the future that's my ex uh, assumption you need to choose whatever suits you well I, get, I wanted to give you all the details and if you still have further questions you can always ask to me and i will try to answer them all right. all right i hope you enjoyed the video as usual before i go please don't forget to like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell button to get the notifications see you in the another video bye bye